Brijlal Banerjee, whose book Gratitude has been released today, Dr. I.S. Roy, Sri Anil Ji, Sri Aniridha Ji, Sri Manindranath Roy Ji, Swami Shastra Janan Ji, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to be present amidst a galaxy of intellectuals comprising lots of senior citizens on the occasion of the release by me of the book titled Gratitude, written by Sri Brijalal Banerjee, an octogenarian professional who is still leading a very active life and is fond of sports, music, traveling, and social philanthropic activities. Books, in other words, writings, have been the age-old means to communicate the thoughts, ideas, messages, etc. to the society for advancement of civilization in a rather slow pace. But today, we are on the threshold of what a modern philosopher has called the third revolution of mankind, where speed is the most important parameter. Symbolized by a spaceship, this era has grown out of an extraordinary stage, or surge rather, of scientific intelligence and technological ingenuity. This is a triumph of human mind. This triumph has many consequences. It has crash landed us in an age where the significant world is changed rapid change, and in the sphere of communication also, a sea change has occurred during the last few decades. The audio-visual means of communication spurred by cyber world has taken the center stage, though books have yet retained its position and, in my opinion, will remain unassailed as a primary means of exchange of ideas, particularly in the intellectual world. I have gone through the book, Gratitude, written by Sri Brajwal Banerjee, an octogenarian who has reportedly written two other books, telling his life story authentically, opening his heart in clear prose to reveal his personality, coming through in the way of whole person sharing talents and flaws alike, so that his readers will be able to identify with him and hopefully root for him as they make their way through this book. In this chronicle, a narrative of his life travel, he has revealed mistakes he has made and times when he has failed himself and other people besides his success stories, a mind of equanimity indeed. Right from his childhood, he has tried to capture the spirit of the times, how life was shaped in different phases through a series of flashbacks. His memory is incredible because at this ripe age he remembers vividly the full names of his school and college mates and many memorable incidents happening during close interaction with them. The career growth of Sri Banerjee is studded with scintillating events of interacting with his colleagues, bosses and peers with varied outcomes. His grooming in Belur Vidya Mandir of Ramakrishna Mission has helped him develop an inner urge to adhere to the guiding principles enunciated by Swami Vivekananda, the great visionary. The monastic order of Sri Ramakrishna Mission has greatly influenced him and he is closely associated with many activities of the mission. He presents many devotional songs even today at this age in various fora of our mission for sublimation of life with the help of monks therein. Such association has made him philanthropy-oriented, which is his added sacred dimension. In this book, he has given a colorful spectrum of his friends and colleagues of his various professional life, their lives tied and relaying his feelings of loss and joy, and also the wisdom he has gained from them. He has gratefully acknowledged their contribution to his career growth and has expressed his gratitude to them for which 
He has rightly given the title of this book, Gratitude. The travelogues on his visits to various countries of the world are added attractions of this book. The colorful photographs at the end of this book depict a few momentous events of the life of the author along with his friends, colleagues and relatives. In fine, Sri Banerjee has tried to chronicle his life lessons also while weaving the themes of his life and career growth. I release this book, Gratitude, authored by Sri B.L. Banerjee, with thanks to you. Jai Bhara.